The best kind of doors are the doors you have to explain. All right. Welcome, welcome to Unhinged with the Door Door. Today, we do have a very special guest, Mr. Alan Lilly. All right. Well, Alan, I think this final door, if the first one really bothered you, this final door will probably, I'm sorry that... <sighs> Yeah, take take a deep breath. This one actually comes in layers because multiple pictures and I even like put the animations in there. So like you, we'll see, we'll, we'll first assess it in, in sections. So bear with me. We can like yeah. bonus doors. This is still one opening, but you get to see more detail on this one opening. Everybody do a shot. No. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> this is coffee. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you have absolutely no follow-up questions. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's let's bear with this. Oh my. So this is the inside and the outside of the door and then we'll get a lot a latch latch shot and then a hinge shot. Wow. How many <laughs> How many renovations has this door been through? This door's been broken into several times. Yeah. Okay, so there's there used to be a lockbox on the door. There's, this is maybe a utility room that used to be there. Mm. The, locks, the, the, the cover's obviously long gone. It's been ripped off. So the it's an in. And now there's a new one. No, it's not a swinging door, kind of. I don't know. Really tough to see. Oh, that's a continuous hinge on there, isn't it? So, no, you can see the button. No, okay, there's the barrel. Okay, there they are. All right. Slightly, um, slightly you can see it, but it, it almost looks like they did put a continuous hinge, but it's not. It's just, I don't know if they had to rebuild the frame or something there. Okay. So, yeah, this has obviously been broken into a bunch of times. It's still just a knob, despite the fact that it's been broken into over and over again. Lack of planning, lack of forethought. I like how they have the door wrap for the, for the cylindrical. I also like that the pull plate and the push plate are not lined up. What, why? Why are we gonna be like that? Yeah. <laughs> people in general, not, not you specifically, me. Like I agree with you. Just... <laughs> and when yeah, I say I like, the, I'm being facetious. But... Yeah, the pull's right here. And yeah. the, what's what's going on? Why? Why is that there? Like, why even put it there though? And who's pushing down there? And then I mean, the closer is in an almost parallel arm on a push side, but it's. Definitely not parallel. I think the the closure body is probably backwards. That's your your standard SC60 or the knockoff there. Probably the knockoff. If, yeah. if we're being honest about that, I'm guessing the at some point they realized that they didn't preload it when they when they first put the the arm on, and so they had to overcompensate for that afterwards. But at least they've got a place to hang their jacket while they're fixing this door, as it's been broken into again and again. Is this an apartment building? What is to the right of the door? Over here, like buzzer, yeah. Yeah, it does actually. Yeah, that's like an old call calling system. Like so this might be head. this could be like a like an entry, like a main entry for mm -hmm. an apartment. I, I have zero background okay. on this. Okay. This was found on the depths of Reddit. So there's <laughs> a lot of okay. anonymous. So there's latch there's latch guard latch guard over it is probably for an electric strike. Mm, keen eye. Yeah, yeah. The mis the mismatched finishes are really on trend this year. <laughs> it's called mixed mm -hmm. finishes. <laughs> Sure. It's the old that like the old the old wiser Beverly that was in copper and brushed chrome or something. Copper and brushed yeah, copper and brushed chrome. My grandparents had them on had them in their had it in their house. You go to mahogany slab doors and trim. So that's why that's why the knob is fixed. So that's why there's a pull handle there because there's an electric strike that's supposed to open this. There's probably also actually there is, you can see in the picture, there's a key switch there on the panel. So uh, yeah. residents, tenants, whatever can you use, use that to open the door. So the 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 knob is mostly just there to keep the door shut obviously this has been damaged a bunch of times i would replace this whole setup with an exit device and a room strike yeah especially if you have that many people yeah i mean i guess occupancy you probably don't need it but it, it would probably be a lot better setup for a break-in and entry yeah just i mean at this point just buy a new door like you've fixed this enough times it's over just get a new one it gets it gets worse are you ready for uh, the next I'm, I'm not but here we are anyways <laughs> okay oh geez so there's the knob the latch mm. and the, the electric strike. How far off the door is the latch sticking? Like behind the latch plate? Solid quarter like, inch. I, th there's so this door, this door has been, they literally carved the door out to sink that in. So the, the, the latch is sitting flush with the edge of the door. <laughs> Where it was. The door Where was carved to... in. The door was carved in to fit that. Or or because it got broken, that's like the only, like, it, it almost looks like they busted the latch out at yeah. one point. 
and then that's why the cover plate is there but because there's no integrity of the door it's all kind of like sunken in i like how they just have a furring strip on the jam like behind the electric strike it's just a it's just a, a one by two furring strip like yep and i mean that's obviously <laughs> why didn't they do that for the door beaten to death there's a time when you can say yes i can fix this and there's a time when you say you know what i could probably fix this but is that the right way to do it i mean look like just the volume of screws that have been put in this in this jam like it's obviously been broken into on at least four separate occasions and you can see the layers of it like yeah like the layer the layers of repairs on this that tells me that this is not like this happened last week and we're waiting on parts because I, I could forgive this if it was like you know this happened this happened the other day and we have to order a new door and frame and right now everything takes forever to get and in the meantime we still want to keep this as secure as possible right i would accept that this is not that case like that wood is weathered that wood has been there for a while it's bad take deep breaths deep breaths and it, yeah. i'm just i'm also curious as to why it's been built out like that's like a brick mold without brick right but they just keep building out further right like out from the face of the strike like the strike is almost an inch buried into the frame like into the depth of the frame yeah it's rough a lot lot to take in okay you ready yep. for the latch side <laughs> Wait, hinge. no, there's another one. This is the this is the hinge side now. Oh boy. So they just threw through bolted. They threw bolted the hinges. <laughs> yes. Good great way to keep the door frame together by bolting the hinges in. Wow. I'm sorry, Alan. Did this just ruin your day? <laughs> 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 Like, I'm not mad at being impressed. In, in terms of in terms of a solution within this opening, it's actually a really ingenious solution. Like you'd have to literally take the whole frame out with you, which is good, but it's an indicator that there's something much worse going on here. Wow. Well, I was all I'm going to say to that. Actually, th there is some good in here as well. Look, they have two top hinges, which mm -hmm. I actually think we should adopt that as a standard in the United States and Canada. Yeah, I, I, I saw this. Was it was it on was it one of your posts? And we, we were talking about this the other day. And like, it, it makes so much theoretical sense. I also love continuous hinges. I think continuous yes. hinges yes. makes so much more sense than butt hinges. And I don't, I don't understand like people that don't, that, frankly, people that don't agree with me need to be bonked on the head with butt hinges. It, they're so much easier. They, they distribute the weight better. They hold the weight better. They're not that much more expensive. They're easier to install or just as easy to install if you're good at it. Like why don't I, I we just do continuous hinges? And they're more secure. Like think of yeah. like people with a, a saw could cut through butt hinges fairly quickly. If you're trying to cut through a continuous hinge, you have to cut the whole door out you have to cut the yep. whole side out like yeah it's it's yeah for i mean security security right like if, if somebody really wants in they're going to get in but let's just talk about the longevity of the door right that you know with it with a with a continuous hinge that's properly installed that door's never going to sag right we can go back to that very first picture that we saw where the door was rubbing on the bottom right? rubbing on the floor unless you're building up a new floor that's never going to happen right or your whole wall is falling down it doesn't happen right so let's just go with continuous hinges everywhere at this point for the amount of effort they've put into these hinges by the way those are residential hinges which is the first problem right like if you look at the whole pattern like those are not a commercial those are not a commercial hinge just yeah, that put it just put it a continuous continuous hinge on it save, save yourself the effort just do it just do it right once right buy once cry once how many times like look i mean just look at the top corner of this door and how badly it's worn away like this whole thing is so out of center so out of, so out of whack and i'll guarantee again we've got the, the the cheap knockoff sc60 closer on that yeah, yeah. put it put a bigger closer on it right if you if, if security is an issue make sure that door closes 100 percent of the time I, I'll, I'll admit i'll be the first one to admit i don't i'm not you know intimately familiar with the weather patterns in eugene oregon but and oh sorry no this is the one we don't know where it is yeah, yeah. Well, it might be a warm climate Climate, but if you look at the sign it says munton and part of me thinks edmonton snow and ice control right ah, so this yeah. could be canada but also i think there's got to be cities edmonton in the united states as well there, there are yeah yeah and Ed, isn't there a wyoming Edmund, Wyoming. either way we're talking about somewhere where it's cold and it's mentioning ice and snow control so yeah with ice with ice and snow we've got we've got we've got cold weather which means that that closer is not going to be closing the door appropriately a good 40 percent of the time yeah and I, I don't know why they would have any issues with it not latching. I mean, the, I mean, the clothes there itself, but also like, look at the latch, like just slam it harder. Everything will be fine. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So this is, this is a lot to process. We're all going to have to go through therapy. We need, a, we need a new scale. <laughs> Like, like you, you, I've got, I've, I've, we've broken the scale. <laughs> we, we, we need a new scale. This is, this is a different multiverse. This is, yeah, like, like the first one was ten out of ten bad because it was not because it was off center. We, we accomplished that in the first picture with the pull and the and the push plate. This is bad for a whole nother level. It's this needs to just be set on fire and walk away. Like. <laughs>
Well, it's just time to replace. It, yeah. there, there's, and this reminds me of the last picture we saw when Leo Dust was on that hotel stairwell. Oh yeah, yeah. And it's just, just it's just time. After band-aid after band-aid. Yeah. It's yeah. just time to rip and replace. It's, yep. Just take it out. Yeah. Just take start it out. over. Yep. Yeah. This can't be fixed. Oh, so yeah, this. The, ooh, I'm deeply offended by this. <laughs> I, I really am. <laughs> That's that's the only scale we need. That's that's your knocking score right there. Yeah, is, yeah. is I am deeply offended. <laughs> I'm deeply offended by this. Why? 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 <laughs> Why would you do every, this to an innocent there's, opening? There's everything everything wrong. The, the world is in a worse place for this being in existence. This is like this is an example of this is an example of why building codes exist, right, right, right? Because people do things like this. The good thing is, is if it's, it's easy enough brown. to get in, it's easy enough to get out. You would think, but I bet you that's not the case. I bet you have to pull the door shut and then turn the handle and then push the door open. <laughs> that's I'll the reason the knobs on the other side is you can. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, because there's I'm sure there's preload happening Absolutely. on that strike. Well, look at the door bind, right? Like just look at that top corner. Yeah. Right. There's there's enough bind there. I I promise you that's the case. And you just you gotta fiddle with it. You, that's probably why this thing has been kicked so many times. People got frustrated, you know, people are frustrated because they couldn't open the door and so they break in. Maybe no, maybe it was the person trying to get out that broke out. Yeah. You know, like, right. <laughs> like exactly. Um, I'm surprised we don't see the glass with the wire in it here. The, the GP, it just... GPW glass. I bet you there was I, well, I mean, I'm so glad we don't because it would just be poured over based on the volume of other repairs that have been done to this. That residential weather strip there that's all been taken out, there was, oh, you look at the top corner there. There used to be, used to be the, old, the old LCN corner mount, hot rally closer. Ah, that's, what, that's what that is. Ah, so this, is, like, this, this opening's got some age to it. It's 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 old. It's ugly. It's dangerous. It's 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 an abomination. It's, you, know what this, you know what this is? This is this is the 1967 AMC Gremlin that's still on the road today. <laughs> Good, good good reference okay yeah I, I don't know if we can give this a knocking score it needs another it needs another level of, of knocking light, light light a match and walk away is what that means this this doesn't need a knocking score this needs to be knocked down Knock, knocked out yeah all right okay. well on that note <laughs> <laughs> i'm so glad you invited me on here benji <laughs> i'm so glad so glad <laughs> Okay. Well, thank you, Alan, so much for joining us. I think there was a wealth of knowledge and insight that was shared with all of us nerds today. Whether whether we wanted to know it or not, there's 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 a lot here to take in and digest and process and work through years of therapy through. So thank thank you for, Thanks so much for having me. That was, it was, yeah. that was that was great up until those last couple of minutes. Holy crap. <laughs> No, it was a true pleasure having you on this show. Make sure that you join us for the next episode of Unhinged. I promise it gets better. The happier (laughs) notes. Please, please, please join us on the next episode. Our our doors are always open, partially because they're unhinged. If you want to be featured on a future episode of Unhinged, or if you have some pictures to submit, you can leave us a note below, or you can email me at mia at doorhardwarenerds.com. Thanks for watching.